my children, today we are going to do something very interesting. You are aware of four digit numbers. Now we are going to meet five digit numbers today. So which is the smallest five digit number? Smallest five digit number is 10, 1000. And we have our abacus here. Do you notice? Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So if I want to represent ten thousand, This is 10,000 on abacus. Easy, isn't it? Let us try representing this number on abacus. Let us first read this number. What is it? It is 10,000, 3,000, 500, 60 and 4. So, how does it read? It reads 13,564. So, that means it has 4 ones, 6 tens, 5 hundreds, 3 thousands, And one ten thousand. So four ones. Four ones means six tens. Five hundreds. Three thousands. And one tenth, which was already there. So this makes it. 13,564. So easy wasn't it? You can represent any of the numbers on a backus like this and see its placement, convert it into expanded form and read the number. Now let me ask you something very interesting. Supposing I have these four numbers with me, 1, 0, 5 and 3. Can you create some five digit numbers using this? Let us create together. I can have a number where I use zero twice. I can have a number like this. I can even create a number with three twice. I can have a number like this. So the list is endless. I can create so many numbers out of it. Supposing we have we create a few more. And let us say one we have this. So in these numbers, can you tell me which is the largest and which is the smallest? How do we do that? When we want to find out the largest or the smallest, where do we start our comparison from? We will start our comparison from here. So we will first compare the 10,000 position. So when I'm comparing the 10,000 position, I can very clearly see that 5 is largest. So my this number becomes largest. And now, which is the smallest number? Again, if I say I'll compare from the 10,000 position, what happens? I have this number, this number, this number, and this number all at 
one so i cannot compare them so i go to the next position that is the thousand position now in thousand position it is very clear that this is zero and rest of them have three so this becomes my smallest number easy isn't it now supposing i tell you let us play this little more and we try to arrange them in an order so if we are arranging them in an order what will happen if i say i am arranging i give number 1 to this position so which number will take second position out of this again we will compare the 10000 positions so this will take the second position now which number will take third position now this is the smallest number this will come at end we will take these three numbers into consideration their 10000 position is same their thousand position is same so now we compare their hundred position in hundred position this has five this has three and this has zero so it is very clear this will be the third position this will be the fourth position this will be the fifth position and this takes the sixth position interesting isn't it now let us move little further and we try to create our own numbers i have these 18 beads here let's me first remove these beads from here just as using these four i created these numbers now using these 18 beads i am going to create number on my abacus but with this restriction that on each one of my rod that is at each position at each place value we will have different number so let us start so i if i i am going to place first one bead in each so what is my target i want to create a number in which all these will take different numbers so i have placed one in each now supposing i place two in this two in this and two in this i am not placing any here why because i am fixing its position as one and now i'll fix its position as two so i'll see if i can still manage supposing i decide i fix its position as three so i place four here so i can place five 6 7 8 9 here so i have created a number 3456123456 and 8 here so i have 8 beads here 4 beads here 3 beads here 2 beads here and one bead here is the number all right is the total coming out to be 18 can you check out for me yes it is coming out to be 18 so i have created this number using these 18 beads i have got this number as 84321 now this with this with these numbers this forms the largest number and what will be the smallest number if i'm i'm supposed to use these digits only that is 8 4 3 2 and 1 yes the smallest number which will be created will be 1 2 3 4 and 8 that is this number was 84321 and what have i created 12348 so let us create 12348 here so i have 12000 my 12000 is ready then i want 300 40 and 8 here now let us move to the next thing we are going to do something even more interesting than what we have done till now we are going to round off this number and that to using abacus 
So first let us create this number on our abacus. It is uh, 12,746. So let us remove these beads. We will use the beads we were using earlier. So we have six ones. Four tens. Seven hundreds, two thousands. and one ten thousand now first I'm going to do rounding of at tens so rounding of a tens means what that this is the position I'm going to round off the number so whenever whichever is the position if we are rounding it off at 10 we will look at the number on its left side so what do i have on its left side i have these six beads and what is the rule of rounding off that if the number on the left is five or more it the rounding position takes one more number and this becomes zero so that means as these are six i remove these six and i place one more digit here so if I'm rounding off at 10, the number becomes 12,750. Is that clear? Now let us do rounding at 100s. Now our original number was 12,746. Let us first create back 12,746 Now I want to round it off at hundreds position hundreds position means this position so I will look at the number on its left. What is on its left? Tens position. And what is the placement in tens position? It is four tens. Four tens means number is less than five. If number is less than five, the number, the place where we are rounding off remains the same. And all the numbers on its left side become zero. That means we remove all these six beads. We remove these four beads also. And so what is our number now? It is 12,700. Is that right? It is 12,700. So is this helping you to understand rounding off better? Now let us be little more adventurous and let us round at thousands. So first what do we have to do? We will create our number back. So our this position, this position and this position is intact. I have to place back four tens.
and I have to place back six ones. Now, my what is my placement? I am rounding off at thousands. So this is my thousands place. And I have to look at which number? I will be looking at this number. Now look at the thousands place. This is the thousands place. We look at the position just left to it. That is hundreds position. Now how many beads do I have in hundreds position? I have seven beads in hundreds position. And what is the rule? That if the number on the left is five or more, we add one to the position we are rounding off. So I will add one more bead here. And and we round off to get thirteen thousand. So I hope children you enjoyed this class and you got your concepts clear.